So, Destiny, Sunsetting. Let me fix my mic in 3, 2, 1. Yo, what is up, guys? For today, we're talking about Destiny 2, and I'm specifically going to be talking about Sunsetting because I have gotten a lot of comments about Sunsetting in general, and it's it's such a hard topic to talk about i'm not gonna lie guys on one hand like i'm very it's very polarizing for me because on one hand i do like that sunsetting is a thing but on the other hand i fucking hate it well actually i think i hate it more than i like it but like i i understand why we need it i guess so before we start let's let's just look at what's getting sunset now, granted, this is not everything that's going to get sunset, but this is like a vast majority of it. So, essentially, everything from Age Old Bond, Reckless Oracle, Gnawing Hunger, Steel Feather Repeater, Uriel's Gift, The Summoner, and Seventh Seraph Carbine are staying. The Scouts, I think there's only like two or three. The Scholar, Night Watch, Patron of Lost Causes, and that's it. Pulse Rifles, we have the Sacred Provenance, uh, Chattering Bone, and GN7 Rifle, Infinite Paths 8, and at Hortative. Hand Cannons, we have Nation of Beasts. Oh, no, there's one here. We have Nature of the Beast, and then Queen Jack 3, Dire Promise, Seventh Seraph Officer, Old Fashioned, and True Prophecy. For the Pulse Rifles, I unfortunately did make a mistake. The Adhortative is not coming back, unfortunately. For the SMGs, it's actually they're very depressing for me, considering I love SMGs. But the only ones you can get is Escape Velocity, 7 Seraph v VY7, and Cold Front. Sidearms, it's only... 7 Seraph, uh, SI2, Enigma's Draw, Last Hope, Buzzard, Traveler's Judgment, and then Breach Light. Bows, it's only going to be the Accured Redemption, Tyranny of Heaven, Point of the Stag, the Val, and the Arsenic Bite. For shotguns, it's going to be... Oh, there's a... Oh, Wishbringer, The Toil and Trouble, Prophet of Doom, per Perfect Paradox, Python, Hawthorne's Field Forge Shotgun, 7th Seraph CQC-12, and Fell Winters. And maybe some of the Iron Banner weapons as well. For grenade launchers, we only have R Marty's Retribution, and again, like I said, maybe Orwin's Maul if Iron Banner weapons do come in. Fusion rifles, we have the Timelines Vertex, Exile's Curse, Alatha FR4, Galliant Charge, Zealot's Charge, and Techian Force. Oh, there's one more. Oh, and main ingredient. For the sniper rifles, we have. Where are you? I know we have another sniper rifle. Okay, so it's gonna be Trophy Hunter, Omniscient Eye, Distant Timulus, and the Supremacy and Long Shadow. That's the one I was looking for. For heavy, we have Swords, which is just Honor Honor's Edge. That's it. Oh, I'm sorry. Honor's Edge and Steel Steel Sybil SZ14. Those two. None of the class ones are coming back. Grenade launchers, it's only the Interference VI. If I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's only the Interference. Rocket launchers, it's only going to be the Pyroclastic Flow, Tomorrow's Answer, Moss Epoch 3, and maybe, again, Iron Banner. Linear Fusions, it's only Komodo and Line in the Sand. And for Machine Guns, it's the Seven Seraph Saw. And that's... Oh, Avalanche, maybe. Like I said, Events and Iron Banner may come back. Other than that, guys, that's it. So... I... I am just so... All over the place for this because on one... Let me, let me just say some pros. Pros. New loot to farm. Potentially new powerful weapons. New possible builds. Take us out of our comfort zone. Clean up our vault space. And the September update may bring a big expansion to bolster weapon numbers. But at the same time, we already farm for those weapons. So it's not really that much of a pro. Uh, potentially powerful new weapons being introduced like weapons from Season of Dawn have already been introduced 
season of weapon or season of dawn weapons are really powerful not broken but powerful which is why me and my like i just don't see why that argument's there it's like oh we're gonna get new powerful weapons well it's like season of dawn had powerful weapons it had really good weapons so not really don't know why you're saying that for the new possible builds, we already had new builds coming with each season, like the Charged with Light, the Warmind Cells, so that one's also just kind of makes no sense to me. The only one that kind of makes sense is takes us out of our comfort zone, like yeah, that, that that's going to be a little bit more considering that we're not going to be able to use our old weapons, but even still, it's just weak. Uh, the cleans up vault space, for me at least, is kind of flawed considering Transmog is going to come back. Unless Transmog comes into play where, like, it's much more easier to do silver than anything else, then, I mean, at that point, I'm just gonna get mad. But the one that I see a lot of people argue is that, oh, well, Bungie has historically always made September updates really good. Like, we've always had uh, insert expansion here, and it's always been great. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's fine. I, I understand what your thought process is. It's just that we've never seen an expansion where it was just Bungie, aside from maybe Shadowkeep, I think. And Shadowkeep is not even Rise of Iron size. You can fight me on this. You could try, but you're going to be wrong. It's like, if we can expect a Rise, or not, if we can expect the Shadow, Shadowkeep size expansion in, uh, in September, then, eh, it'll be fine, I guess. And let me just re reiterate, a shadow uh shadow keep season as in like or shadow keep expansion which means no other season connected to it so not season of the undying just shadow keep we got to make that distinction real like real so you guys could have the much the all that faith in bungie that oh they're gonna do it right because like their see their september updates are always great i'm not gonna argue with that they are their september uh, updates are always amazing We've had Taken King, what is it, uh, Forsaken, Shadowkeep to a certain point. I think that was cool, but a little flawed. If we can expect Shadowkeep level of quality, then it's just like, okay. I don't think it's going to be amazing considering that like Forsaken, we had, what, what was it, like two new areas bring up, a raid, plus a dungeon. It, it brought so much to the table. And if you compare that to like Shadowkeep, one that's not fair considering they even told us it's not forsaken level if they give us a forsaken in september then i can see a lot of my concerns kind of being like okay i, I can i can, okay okay like i could see myself being like all right well i'll try it out we'll see but if it's just shadow keep level which was basically one area with one armor set one weapon set and then three weapons from the activity whatever it's called the the nightmare hunt thing no, or not nightmare hunt but the nightmares on moon on the moon and then the dungeon that actually did not have any unique loot in it so it's like it's i understand why people are being like optimistic for the september update i understand that it's just that i guess either i'm jaded or i'm just a little bit more realistic considering that Bungie does not have any help anymore they not only do they not have any have much help they don't have much help in the way of their devs they're split in what was it half the other team is working on matter and I just I know this is gonna sound fucked up it's just I don't have confidence that Bungie will deliver I have not enjoyed this seasons i enjoyed the last seasons a lot more and even those had some issues and now we're paying the same amount of money for the for the seasons but just in lower quality and quantity for pretty much everything and now they're telling me that oh we're gonna not only make all of your weapons and gear irrelevant but we're gonna go up to season of dawn now so anything from shadow keep and below is pretty much useless and i know there's people arguing well you can still use them in crucible quick play you can still do it in strikes you can still do it in this and that and it's like that's cool but why would you keep something that you could only use in a limited time or in limited 
activities when you can just use something that's available everywhere like that's the thing there, there's a reason why people don't like sunsetting is because yeah in theory it, it's cool considering we can still use stuff but why would i hold on to a weapon that i can't use anywhere when i can just have a weapon that i can use everywhere like you understand that like i that's my issue like i would love it if bungie just tried other things like weapon new archetypes new weapon types like i've been talking to this guy on uh on my comment section he was bringing up some cool points and as a collector he felt personally personally insulted and i i can i can see that i can agree with that like as a collector all the god rolls that you, that he collected all everything that he's collected is pretty much garbage and i would love to see like maybe if you equip two sidearms right here you could use that as like an akimbo and then just have like three weapons or i don't know you can have swords that detach or you can have daggers you can have just different things like it's just really daunting not daunting it's really just wild to me that we've only gotten like one new archetype which was in season of don marty's retribution and before that it was the bow from forsaken like we have not had seen any new archetypes new weapon types like it's wild that we don't have any new things like dude i would love to see more weapon types more archetypes more just everything gear like i would love to see uh, artifacts come back i would love to see different armor like it's just i want to see so much more but we're still stuck in this loop we're still stuck in this yeah, we're just still stuck in this loop and I'm just waiting for the create the creativity come back. Um like it's funny cuz like for my reload video, I was a little annoyed. But then I thought I don't even use reload perks right now. Like the only one that I love using is like I said, feeding frenzy. I have it on two SMGs, but on my favorite SMG in the season right now, which is escape velocity, I'm actually using overflow so it, it completely just negates reloading for me like overflow just immediately gives me 80 rounds in my like like chamber like do you know how awesome that is I literally just oh I, I don't need that and like it's funny too because I can see some people or Bungie themselves saying it's kind of broken because all you have to do is pick up ammo and you get a reload an instant reload and I can see them being like okay so instead of instantly reloading your your weapon now when you go over armor your next reload is gonna be that i can see them doing something shitty like that and it's the fact that i could see the nerfs that each weapon can have now like a majority of my well not a majority considering these are exotics but actually so this this actually these two would not no longer be viable uh <clears throat> This would no longer be viable. This would no longer be viable. And then this, why do I have the Moss Epoch? But yeah, this would no longer be viable and then exotics obviously, but yeah, like, and that's the thing is that like these, I don't even know if they're gonna be viable in the next season. Do we, st we have to, do we have to regrind like the Steel Sybil? This is gonna be in the next season's loop pool. Does that mean that I have to regrind for a tireless blade and whirlwind blade? Do you know how awesome these two combos are? Plus, I have an impact like masterwork on it. This this is a dope combination. Do I have to farm for this again in the world drops? Like, or do can I just bring it with me since I already have one? Like, what is the like I that's the one thing that I'm trying to like really not blow my load over is the fact that like my Hawthorne shield, my Hawthorne shotgun right here. Grave robber, one two punch. This is a dope fucking roll i could have got a better a better masterwork on it but i think this is still good uh the reload is really good it, obviously it's not all i'm saying is i love this roll this is one of my favorite rolls the grave robber and win two punch does that mean that i have to essentially regrind for a hawthorns for next season obviously i don't i'm i don't think but this came out in season of dawn so in season 13 does this become obsolete or because it's coming back in season 11 does that mean that it's not season 12 or 13 but in season 14 like there's just so many gray areas and i don't like that because i don't want to regrind for 
a Hawthorns or this one. This one's a, the most one. Like the steel, the steel, the steel Sybil. This is a great roll. Is it a god roll? I don't know. I don't do swords that much. But this is a pretty fucking good roll, guys. Sword ammo granted for every other powered sword kill. Wait, no, not that one. It's this one. Relentless strike. Landing three light attacks. Hit, or three light attacks. Uh, within a short time grants sword ammo and then rapid sword strikes increase the weapons damage for a short duration So not only am I getting weapon damage Like up to five times, but then I'm getting ammo from each hit not only that impact dog This is this is wild. This is wild But do I have to re regrind for that role again or can I just be like, okay? Well, I have that already can I like it's just so many questions and that's what makes me nervous the uncertainty of it is what makes me think that bungie's gonna fuck it up and you could tell me oh no like you have to have more faith in bungie why they have shown they have shown me nothing for me to have that faith i don't understand how people are blindly like oh no bungie won't fuck it up bungie won't fuck it up they have fucked up so much these past few seasons how are you still this like i, I don't know me personally, I think maybe I'm jaded or maybe I'm realistic, but I just don't think Bungie is going to do it right, at least the first time. I think they're going to fuck it up really hard and then they're going to fine tune it and then somehow fuck it up again. And it's just that's the that's the rotation. That's and it's unfortunate because once upon a time, Bungie was Bungie was well, once upon a time, Destiny was dope as fuck. And then we went to Destiny 2 and I think we had one good mo well, we've had Forsaken and then we had Season of Opulence and even Season of Opulence had its troubles, but Season of Opulence was great, For Forsaken goddamn was great, and now, I don't know, let me know what you, in the comments what you guys think in the, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, I am personally, I want to say I'm in the middle of this, but I'm kind of more leaning towards I hate sunsetting than like it i understand why we need it but it's just there's, i just see so many gray areas i see so many unanswered questions that it just makes me feel more nervous than anything else considering i don't have much faith in bungie if you do let me know why in the comments below i just i don't see it man i really don't so yeah uh be careful out there guys you guys know what's happening in the world uh if you guys want to follow me on my social media links links are in the description below thank you everyone for the constant support and i will see you guys later